I'm going to demonstrate how to apply four axis machining to this solid model. The first thing I want to do is line up our coordinate system. So I'm going to line it up on geometry and pick the front face of the shaft. Now from my top view, you can see we're not quite there yet. We want the x-axis to travel through the shaft. So we're going to rotate around the y-axis. x, y, and z are 0, and our angle is 90 degrees. Now we're in position. Now I want to measure this diameter. This is where our machining is going to take place. And it's 3125. Next we go to the machining menu, work step data. The cycle type, we're going to machine surfaces. We'll use an undersized ball end mill. We're going to paste the diameter of the shaft, or actually the radius of the shaft, here in the C surface. Our depth is going to be zero. We're cutting to the surfaces and not through them. Under verification, you'll find where all of our machining, our four axis machining, is controlled. Here we want to wrap around the x axis. Next, under 3D cycle data, I'm going to adjust uh, my step over. And now we'll add our surfaces. Now I can include the, these over here. I'm just going to do one lead for now. Okay, we're cutting left to right. We're going to change the direction. So from longitudinal, we'll go to transverse. That makes a little more sense. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how to machine it with an end mill the same size. So I'm going to right mouse click to activate our first work step. Now I need to create a path curve for the tool to follow on center. So we'll go to the curves, face boundary, and select that face there. Now I only want the center, so I have to remove the rest of it. And we're going to do that by using delete from and to. So from that point, we're going to go all the way down the other end. And we're going to delete up to this point here. Now we have our path curve. And you would do the same for the remaining leads. Go back to work step data. Change the cycle type to contour. We don't need to add the machining surfaces. We're going to use the same surface height. And our ball end mill is going to be a quarter of an inch. And our depth of cut is going to be half the cutter. So our cutter radius. Make sure your fourth axis wrapping is still turned on. Add your machining curve. Okay, now you can see if I turn the shading off, we're using an offset. I want the tool to be directly over. So we'll go back into the operation, cycle data, offset direction will be off. Stock setup. 
and our diameter is 0 0.3125. Whoop. Multiply by 2 and verify. If you want to cut the other direction, simply go into the curve reverse direction. That concludes our 4-axis solid, solid model machining.